Okay, the next book is called The Case of the School Ghost by Dory Hillstead Butler and published by Albert Whitman and Company. Okay, so the first chapter is called Message from Agatha. Oh, Agatha is that ghost. Remember the girl who was supposed to have died in the school? Hello, my name is Buddy. I'm a therapy dog. That means I go to school and help kids. Sometimes I help them with reading. Sometimes I help them solve problems. Sometimes I just put my head on their laps and let them pet me. Petting a dog helps humans feel better when they are an upset. I love being a therapy dog. It's my favorite thing. I have another favorite job besides therapy dog. I'm also a detective. I, I've solved a bunch of cases already. The case of the lost boy, the case of the mixed up muds, the case of the missing family, the case of the fire alarm, and the case of the library monster. We haven't read the mixed up muds. We might go back and read that one later. Here's a case I haven't solved yet. The case of the school ghost. A lot of humans and animals think there's a ghost at Four Lakes Elementary School. I don't know if there's a ghost there or not. I don't even know if I believe in ghosts. Here's one thing I do know. Some strange things have happened at that school. Here's a list of some of the strange things I've seen, heard, and felt there. Doors closing all by themselves. Lights flickering and going out all by themselves. Noises in the walls and ceiling. Cold air rippling through my fur like a ghost is trying to pet me. Maybe tonight I will solve the case of the school ghost once and for all because guess what? I get to go to a sleepover with Connor at school tonight. We're going to stay all night and sleep in sleeping bags in the library. It's going to be so fun. The sleepover is for fourth graders who have read 500 pages so far this school year. I'm not a fourth grader and I haven't read 500 pages, but mom is the alpha human at school. If she says I can go to the sleepover, then I can go to the sleepover. Right now, I'm lying on the floor by Connor's bed, watching him pack shirt, pants, underwear, socks, pajamas, Connor says. Is that everything, buddy? What about food, I ask, and our bowls and some toys? That's what we bring for me when we go someplace and stay overnight. Food, my bowls, and some toys. I don't need any of that other stuff that Connor is packing. Connor slaps the side of his head. I almost forgot my toothbrush. He dashes out of the room. I wouldn't mind if Mom and Connor forgot my toothbrush. I hate having my teeth brushed. Hey, maybe I should see what Mom packed for me. If she packed my toothbrush, there's still time to hide it under the refrigerator or in the garbage can. I trot down the hall and down the stairs. There's a paper bag on the floor in the kitchen. Sniff, sniff. I smell food. I stick my nose in the bag. The bag topples over and everything spills out. A bag of food, a bag of liver treats, my bowls, my leash, my ball, and my squeaky duck. I love my squeaky duck. It's my favorite thing. Buddy, Mom cries. My heart jumps inside my chest. Oh, hi, Mom, I say with my tail. I didn't hear you come up behind me. Mom stuffs everything, including the duck, back inside my bag. She makes mad eyes at me and blows a bunch of air out through her mouth. <sighs> What? I say, what did I do? Mom doesn't tell me. I think I'll go outside for a little bit. Maybe when I get back, Mom will be in a better mood. I charge through my doggy door, across the back porch, and down into the yard. Sniff, sniff. The air smells heavy and wet. The sky is growing dark. It feels like it might storm soon. I circle the yard, searching for the perfect spot to do my business. Someplace where I haven't done in a while, but not too far away from the place where I usually go. Oh, here's a good spot. I lift my leg, and all of a sudden, I have a feeling I'm being watched. I glance over my shoulder, but I don't see anyone. I finish my business, then I turn around. I see our big tree, some flowers, a tall fence. I don't see any intruders. Then I look up. Above the fence, who is it, do you think? cat with no name is draped has draped himself across a tree branch that's hanging part way into our yard why do you always have to sneak up on me i ask i 
didn't sneak, Cat says. I've been here all afternoon. Why, I ask. Doesn't he have anything better to do than watch my backyard? It's my job to watch my backyard, not his. Cat licks his front paw. I was waiting for you to come outside, he says. I have a message for you. A message for me? From who, I ask, patting over to the fence. Agatha, Cat says. Agatha is the name of the ghost at school. If there really is a ghost at school, I swallow hard. What's the message? Stay out of the basement, Cat says. Agatha doesn't like people or animals hanging around her school at night. She won't bother you if you keep everyone out of the basement. But if you or anyone else goes down there tonight, you'll be sorry. I don't know if Cat is messing with me or not. What do you mean, I ask? What'll happen if I go down there? What'll happen if any of the kids go down there? You don't want to know, Cat says. But trust me, it'll be bad. The sleepover is going to be in the library, so I don't think anyone will want to go to the basement. But I could be wrong. Dun, dun, dun. Chapter 2 is called Agatha's Story.